What's up ladies and gents and welcome back to Forza Horizon 5. We are here with something a little bit different today. We are going to look at this car. Pretty right. Okay, I'm just kidding. What we are here today, or what we are going to discuss today is some players have a lot of skill points now. And you might be wondering why that is. And well, what happened was a lot of uh, cars and the car mastery trees, so here in those trees, have had reasonably easy wheel spins to unlock and super wheel spins to unlock. And the issue was, well, according to the developers, I didn't find an issue, but well, you know they are, that the wheel spins were earned a little bit too easily, but you only needed a few uh, skill points for it. And what they did was they remodeled the skill trees of a lot of the cars and all of the all of the skill trees that they remodeled, you got your skill points back if you have spent skill points on them already. And they made the wheel spins a lot harder to get. And for those people that already unlocked them, obviously you don't lose anything if you already unlocked the wheel spins, then, you know, it's not that big of a problem so right here with uh, with the m4 for example we see that there is only <laughs> a wheel spin way up there and well you know that's a lot of points you're going to have to spend you're going to have to spend these three then another three for six then another three for nine that's 14, that's 24 points for a wheel spin, that's ridiculous. And I mean, there were some cars, the Jeep Willys, or Willy was one of the prime examples for it. It was super easy to buy. And then you could just farm the wheel spins and make a profit each time. They nerfed that before this update already and in this update they nerfed the other cars because obviously when you remove one <laughs> players are going to look for other cars where that also makes sense and they also nerfed the wheel spins in general by adding the low amount credit wins I, I, I guess we can call them so Basically, when you spin a super wheel spin, you only got pretty good rewards and now you get crappy rewards again as well. So like very low credit rewards that were basically out. And they return a little bit to the Forza Horizon 4 wheel spins there. Um, I actually thought a lot of players liked the change to remove these 2000, 5000, etc credit rewards because they were useless um, and I'm not entirely sure why they changed that like someone must have fallen on their head or something because I like most of the people that I've been talking to and, and a lot of the people that you hear on the forum as well like they actually enjoyed the change and when you read the reviews that's actually something that is noted positively about the game now Maybe some players that play, I don't know, endless amounts of hours have been complaining about progressing too far, f too fast through the game, but like, come on, man. The average player who wants to play this game, unlock some stuff and drive cool cars, and the faster you can unlock the cars that you like, the better, right? <laughs> like, you don't want to get through it too quickly, but with the amount of cars that are in the game, you still need several hundred hours to really get everything. So, uh, I don't know, like, it makes the auction house a little more viable, I guess, because the wheel spins are nerfed, but 
you already get very few wheel spins to begin with. Like, okay, here we don't even have uh, the stunts, but the stunts often now only yield a, a regular wheel spin. You, you get so few super wheel spins to begin with in comparison to Horizon 4 that nerfing that further, I don't know what, what went through their head there. Anyway, so that's what that was about. So if you have spent points on skill trees that were redone, you are refunded and you get the points back. Now obviously you don't need to give the XP back that you unlocked, you don't need to give the force fund points back that you unlocked, and you don't need to give the wheel spin rewards back that you unlocked. And now you can spend the points again. So technically for the moment if you have spent a lot of points already, you're actually making a profit off of this. So I guess that's the, the positive part about it. And well, if you're a new player, well, you know, bad luck, I guess. Um, there's not much else to say about it, that's just bad luck. And obviously once you've spent your points again, you're also in the perpetual grinding machine again of throwing points into a system that really doesn't reward you with very much. So that just got a little bit worse. But yeah, if you're a new player, that just that's just terrible because you don't get anything back and you have the worst skill trees now or the car mastery trees. So that's that's not ideal. And they also removed the wheel spins from all of the basic, the, the rare and the common cars. So you only get them in the expensive ones, the, the epic, the legendary cars who well, still have wheel spins on them, but like these regular cars no chance anymore from what i heard and in general someone actually did the testing and said there are no double super wheel spins anymore now i haven't confirmed that i don't own all of the cars to check and well i also don't want to go through all of the cars to check it so we can just go here and look at this <coughs> i'm very sorry Look at this instead. Right here. See here, the, the one I bought is still there because there is no wheel spin to begin with, so nothing has been reset here. So the, the car mastery trees where nothing was changed stay unchanged, like those points that you spent stay there. Only the ones where the trees were changed are actually refunded, which does make sense. I would have liked an information which cars are actually affected so that you don't have to check all your cars and reinvest your points. But, well, that's just an annoyance, I guess. So when you use a car again, you can just freely use your points again. You can cho <coughs> choose unlock all. Like we see at the, at the bottom, unlock all and that unlocks all of them including this one which costs 25 so if you don't want that you have to do it manually but you can save time if you really want to unlock all by picking that one and one last thing some players have complained that they now no longer can obtain car mastery points and that is because the game can only count to 999 and if you have spent a lot of points already on the trees that are redone then obviously you are refunded a whole lot of points so obviously i'm far from the threshold but if you play a lot and you spent a lot of points already then it's very possible you have north of 999 points so let's say you have 1500 points then you won't get any points anymore until you spend enough points to get below the 999 again when you can earn some again so that's pretty much the reason why some players are not getting points anymore and yeah that's that's pretty much the, the info about this update i hope this explains a thing or two and if you have any questions left just you know 
ask. I'm not gonna buy it. <laughs> so yeah, until next time with some actual gameplay again. Um, farewell.